Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking on today's video. So grateful to have you all here. If you aren't already, be sure to click that subscribe button down below. New videos every single week. I have been a little bit quiet on social media in general lately because I've been going through a bit of a challenging time. I recently kind of just fell into a bit of a rut and I wanted to be open, transparent, and vulnerable with you guys because it happens to all of us, it happens to even the happiest of people, and it's never a fun time when you feel yourself fall into that rut. But I wanted to share some of the things that I've been doing to help myself get out of this hard and low place in life. I want to start by saying that everyone is different and the most important thing you can do is listen to your body. What is your body telling you? Your body knows what it needs in order to be at its best health, whether that is physically, mentally, spiritually, or emotionally. So definitely my first tip would be to take some time to be by yourself, meditate, go for a walk, sit in silence, just really try and tune in to what your body is feeling and what it is trying to tell you. One of the first things that I do is try and get outside and surround yourself with people who know and love you very deeply. I'm talking about people who are super close to you, like family members who you're very close with, best friends who have known you for years, people who truly know the real version of yourself and can remind you of who you are and can remind you of happy memories that you've had and happy moments in your life. When we're in a rut, it can be really hard to look at the positive or anything good in life and it can be super easy to stay pessimistic and negative towards everything. So try and surround yourself with people who boost your mood and lift you up. Stay away from anyone toxic, stay away from anyone who teases you or bullies you in any way because that can be a trigger for keeping you in that rut. And so maybe at this time, be specific with who you need to spend your time with. For me, I spend time with my family and my little siblings, my grandparents. I have certain friends who I reach out to and they just really help boost my mood. And maybe you're that friend for someone else. So also be aware of that. If someone ever comes to you, maybe realize and recognize that you have the opportunity to help your friend or family member at this time. But spend time with people who remind you of who you are. When I spend time with my siblings, I really don't even have time to think about my own problems because I'm helping them, they're little. We spend a day at the lake maybe, and I like to go take them out in the boats, or just spend quality time with people you love. Try and get out of your head for a second and remind yourself that there's so much good in your life. That can be a huge game changer and really help to get your mind off of it so you don't get stuck in it for 24 hours. The next thing that I like to do is, I've talked about this a little bit, my faith is something that is a part of my life. I am a Christian more specifically. I'm a member of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. And so obviously my faith becomes very important to me during difficult times. However, if I'm being totally honest and transparent with you guys, my faith has also been struggling a little bit, which I think has not helped me falling into this rut because my faith, which is normally my anchor, hasn't felt as much like an anchor as it has in the past right now. I hope that made sense. Basically, I've been struggling in my faith, and I think that that is normally something I lean to. And so I've really, really, really been trying to spend more time with God, and just more time in prayer, more time in scriptures, more time in reflection, and all of that stuff. And so for me, I obviously like to read my scriptures morning and night when I'm in a rut because I need extra help. I just need that extra strength that can come from God and I really do feel that. Another thing that I do, let me just grab it here, is I read from this book. It's called The Purpose Driven Life by Rick Warren and I really like his points and although he's actually of a different faith and religion than me, I like a lot of his points and it really helps uplift me and remind me to stay on course and kind of gives me clarity and focus for my day. So those are some things that I like to do. I really like to spend more time in prayer and I know it can be difficult to spend time in prayer when you feel in a rut because sometimes the last thing you feel like doing is expressing how you're feeling. But just knowing that God is listening, you can cry, you can scream, you can yell, you can whisper, he's listening. You don't even have to pray out loud. He can hear your thoughts and hear your heart and he knows what's going on. And so reach out to him, definitely, definitely do that because it makes a big difference. And even if it might not change like anything physically around you, it'll change how you feel in here and that makes the biggest difference when you're feeling in a rut. Now, if you're not religious and maybe you're like, I don't read scriptures, I don't believe in God, that's okay too. We're all different and I totally respect that. 
However, I would still really invite you to reflect. Even if you don't necessarily pray to God, journal, reflect on how you're feeling, and just try and remember that, you know, there is someone out there who loves you. Whether you believe in God or not, whether it's the universe or whatever it is for you, try and find a rock, and anchor to hang on to. For me, it's God because I know he's always there. Um, but if you aren't religious, obviously find your own way of doing this and kind of gaining some clarity and something to hold on to. Another thing is to read books and just try and fill your mind with good things. So I've been trying to go to the library more often and choose books that uplift me. And they can be on random topics, it can be self-help books, it can be a non-fiction book, it could be a biography. Whatever you like to read, just read things that uplift you. And also try and read things that are things that you're passionate about. If you're super passionate about baking or food, maybe pick up some books on food to like rekindle that passion and try and inspire you to get out of this rut and once again work on the things that bring you joy in your life. Another thing that I like to do is go on to Spotify and find good music. Music really uplifts me. Um, it can really affect my mood depending on what I listen to, which is why I think the kind of music you listen to is so important, especially when you feel like you're stuck in a rut. So I'm going to go into my Spotify here, and you probably won't see it because it's kind of far away, but basically um, my Spotify, my favorite Spotify playlist that I have been listening to nonstop and I listen to all the time is called Worship. Wednesday. I'll link it down below with a couple of my other favorite worship playlists that I just find. Honestly, I search in the search bar, worship, and I click on a playlist and I just listen to it. Uh, maybe worship music doesn't uplift you. For me, it does. Even if you aren't religious or that maybe isn't something you would normally turn to, uh, if you're just looking for music to uplift and inspire you and to remind you of goodness and good things, it's good music. You don't even necessarily have to have a religious background to feel uplifted from worship music. I love it. Rodolfo and I kind of have a joke that like he likes his like other music and then I always like we listen to he calls it my Jesus music so I always want to listen to my Jesus music but I love it and it really does help put me in a better mood so just playing that throughout my day uh, sometimes first thing when I wake up in the morning and I'm doing my hair and makeup I will listen to some uplifting music from one of those playlists and it really helps to give me perspective and clarity for my day and remind me what truly matters most in life. Those are all of the things that I do. I know that was kind of a lot, but I hope that if anything, you'll take one or two of these things, apply them to your daily routine and see how they help you. And I really do hope that if you personally are going through a difficult or hard time, maybe the struggle bus is happening around your neighborhood today and you're just feeling like it's hard to get out of this threat, um, I would just really encourage you to hold on to hope, listen to what your heart and your body is telling you it needs, and surround yourself with people who love you. Honestly, like just doing those three things are going to help you so much. These are some of the practical day-to-day -day things I do, but truly being honest, vulnerable within yourself can really help you uh, recognize what's going on and what you need to do to fix it. Um, and obviously, like I said, I'm not a professional. These are just things that I personally do in my day-to-day -day life, and I like watching these from other people's perspectives, and so I thought I would share my perspective here on the world of YouTube. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. And let me know down below if you have any questions or would like me to do anything else similar to this. Always open to your guys' video requests. I hope you have a beautiful day and that if you're doing great, you stay on that path. And if you're doing not so great, that you can hopefully get out of that rut very, very soon and start feeling like your best self again. Love you guys. So grateful for your support. And I'll see you next week.